Ukraine destroys Russian missiles with air defense systems that the U.S. abandoned. The Ukrainians are using an American-made air defense system that the United States decommissioned more than two decades ago to successfully shoot down Russian cruise missiles. As Business Insider reports, the weapon in question is the MIM-23 Hawk, a medium-range surface-to-air missile system that was first used in the 1960s and was long considered obsolete. The military favored more portable systems, but the weapon has found new life in Ukraine, proving that after all these years, it is still a useful tool. A Ukrainian military officer who operates the Hawk system said that while the weapon is not new, it is effective in the right hands. He has scored more than two dozen successful hits, including against Russian KH-59 cruise missiles and Iranian-made Shahed attack drones. Soldier Alexander said the Shahed drones are the most annoying because they fly very slowly, making it tiring to fight them for a long time. It's much easier to work with missiles, even when they're aimed at you. It was a bit awkward when three KH-59 missiles were flying straight at us, constantly changing altitude. But all the targets were detected and destroyed one after another, he said. The main secret is not even in the weapons we work with, but in the synchronous and coordinated work of the unit. We understand perfectly well the risks and consequences if we do not listen or ignore each other, he said. The Hawk system was deployed around the world during its four decades of service with the US military. It saw combat in the Middle East. However, in the 1990s, after the end of the Cold War, the air threat to American forces changed. The Hawk was retired and replaced by other systems, such as the FIM-92 Stinger and Avenger. The skies were also covered with the MIM-104 Patriot. While the US no longer uses the Hawk, several countries still operate it, as well as its many variants, including Spain, which first sent several launchers to Ukraine in October 2022. Since then, the Biden administration has donated an unspecified number of Hawk systems and munitions to Kyiv and has committed to purchasing more for the country in the long term. Ukrainian officials regularly press the United States and its NATO allies to boost their air defense capabilities to combat the Russian threat. Although the Hawk is an aging system, it still helps plug important gaps in the skies. The Hawk is not the only 1960s-era weapon to have found success in Ukraine. German-made Gepard cannons have also proven highly effective at shooting down Russian drones and cruise missiles at low altitudes. Earlier, Prime Minister Denis Shmihal stated that Ukraine will receive air defense systems and missiles for them. They will be provided by the United States and eight other European countries. International partners heard us. We were able to convince them that strengthening Ukraine's air defense is the top priority. As a result, we have concrete results of the work of both the president and the entire Ukrainian team in recent times. The Prime Minister noted, Officials in a Northern California community canceled an annual 4th of July fireworks celebration as an estimated 26,000 residents remained displaced by a growing wildfire, while hundreds of firefighters toiled under extreme heat to keep flames from reaching more homes. Firefighters have lined roads to keep flames from reaching homes as helicopters dropped water on a growing wildfire in Northern California. The Thompson Fire north of Sacramento, near the city of Oroville, sent up a huge plume of smoke that could be seen from space as it grew to more than 14 square kilometers. There was no containment. But Oroville Mayor David Pittman said there had been a significant drop in the fire activity, and was hopeful that some residents could soon be allowed to return home. The fire's progress was stopped along the southern edge and firefighters working in steep terrain were trying to build containment lines on the northern side. Soaring temperatures, which will continue into next week, have dried out already parched vegetation, increasing the wildfire risk across the region. Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency for the area of the fire, clearing the path for additional resources, including the possibility of mobilizing the California National Guard to assist. A local emergency was also declared, and evacuations were ordered for some residents in the city of Oroville, as the Thompson Fire continues to burn in Butte County, according to local officials. Most of California outside of the immediate coastline is under excessive heat warnings.